told everyone he was Christian. He was not. He was one of us. He only wanted the silver and the swords for his men of Mercia. And you have kept his tradition going? Without flinching. Without hesitating. Offa would be proud of me. You must have seen 100 summers, old man. It feels thus. Is that a bottomless stomach, I see? Drink faster than me, you win the purse. Let's see the shimmer of your silver, friend. Ooh, such daring. Ah. We drink. I'm feeling a bit dry <laughs> over here. The Royal is your diesel. Be kissing a flagstone soon. Ah, drool monger. You're going to start.
We must all turn to the Order. It keeps people well placed. It is not truth, but true power. You desecrate the very purpose of life. No, no, no. I place power on power. The great becomes greater. You will see. Rest easy, Reeve. Your time has come. Yes. Now I will be judged at the Witten of the Gods. To Helheim with you. Aye. Even Helheim needs a Reeve. The first man I killed for my order, I cried and wept after trying to hold back the tears. But I told myself, I am merely acting upon a foretold destiny, navigating the whim of greater gods. My actions are simply pebbles. Pebbles that wash away in the surf, as harmless as dust. Pebbles were once bedrock. As for you...
won't be gentle if they spot me. Hey! See you, old friend. building a boat to carry my family to safety one day. And what of the orphans you left behind? Do they get a boat? A brigade of bastards. They are the only ones left ruling England. My people were of the Wiccan kingdom. Now we are ruled by Christ-beaten bastards. Warlock, I could do with a round. Fortune favors the bold. Are you brave enough for a game or two? Let us play. All right then, come.
Good game. Oh, you are pretty good. Shall we go again? Another time, perhaps. I serve the young Athelred. He will rise one day. He is no Alfred, from what I hear. I lie to everyone, and they will never know. They will tell stories of me as a good man who served as lord. Your Hooger walks with a new beast. around here.
wish my life had been a carnival of drinking ale and pissing. It could have been, I'm sure. No, we have not reached such a point. I used the order to live a life of ale drinking, but the price of my ale was murder. Sad, really. see defeat. When Scops mention me, they will sing of my conquests. Cowards do not get sagas. I am no coward. In a long lost battle for Wessex, I was the victor. The Scop could speak of that time. Focus on my lost honor. No. I'll leave your reputation as it is, here in the blood blackened mud. Hidden ones. Is that who you slave for? I slave for none. I am scrapping England clean of its filth for the safety of my people. Ah, uh, listen. Do you hear? The excuses of a mind enslaved. <laughs>
received from the order i shared it too with many in need do not be blinded by the gleam of your bloodlust shared silver always comes at a cost what of it i forged good from what you call evil lives were improved lives worth more than the silver that paid for them i do not regret the lives lost for the charity gained Smells like a trap. What surprises await me this time? to be careful here. <gasps> Your gratitude is touching. Gratitude? That was my prize-fighting bear you killed. How am I supposed to make my living now? It is thanks to me that you're living at all. Oh, thank you, 
Your Majesty, please accept my eternal loyalty for condemning me to abject poverty! I should teach you some manners. You can take your manners and shove them where Odin can't see! Let's do this, you filthy Dane! Stilling that bitter tongue was a service to all. You're pretty cocksure for a child. You would be too if you had miracle legs. Miracle legs? They seem pretty normal to me, girl. Looks can be deceiving. Have you heard of the great Phidippides, the mighty hero of old? Ran all the way from Marathon to tell the king they won the battle. Then guess what happened? He only fell down dead. Dead? From running? It was very far. Girls can't fight. It's the rules. But like Phidippides, I'm going to be the fastest messenger who ever lived. So when the Norse defeat the Saxon armies, you'll quickly bear the bad news to your king. Them sissy britches. Fat chance. So do you want to race or not? I've beaten everyone else in the whole world. In that case, let's run. You're fast, I grant you, but you'll not outrun me. No other Saxon has been able to keep me on my toes like you, little one. I never thought I would be beaten, but you run like the wind. I'm glad I had a real challenge. And I am glad to have given you one. Do you like interesting places? I've run all over Wessex, found some scary, spooky magic spots. Exploring such is what I live for. I'll give you my diary. I call it the many wondrous runnings of the galloping miracle legs. Bye-bye. What is that boy doing all the way up there? He'll crack his head like a fresh head's egg! He's going to fall! Oh! All my days! I can't look! <laughs> Come on, Ezubert! It's yours for the taking! Or die trying! <sighs> Saints alive! Did you see that? God sent Ezubert an angel! <sighs> Is it over? Did he fall? Oh, God's buttered crumb. You would have done it yourself. Risk life and limb. But great men know the value of a champion. What will you do with such a treasure? It's for her. It's all for her. So she'll finally notice me. Athelflaed, what do you say to the sweet boy? Thank you for the flower. It is very beautiful. Now we are betrothed, and I will grow up to be a great king. And you will be my fair lady. What say you, daughter? Do you think him a worthy suitor? He risked so much to declare his love. I will tell my husband the king you claim our daughter's hand. When you are a little older, of course. Come, dearest. Noah's holy cow! You actually gave a flower to the princess! And now we are betrothed. Takes more than that. A Dane treads the cobbles of God's house. In search of Christ's redemption, I hope. Your Christ can wait his turn. It's you I've come to see. Is that so? When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. You know these words, and you know why I speak them. I do. 
But I am not yet satisfied that you are the one for the task ahead. As Jesus said unto Thomas, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Speak the deeds of Christ in order. Only then will you cometh unto my Lord. Why deny the pleadings of an unwashed pagan who aches to know God? Take me as I am and I will do your Lord's bidding. How great is the burden of learning for one so unworthy. But I see that no amount of instruction in the Lord's words will save your soul. Come. Who am I to meet, priest? I cannot stand waiting in silence. Shh. Even a fool, when he keeps silent, is considered wise. Yet men become wise by speaking with other men. They grow foolish when keeping to silence. Hush. Your prattling offends God's ears. We're here. May Christ, whose terror scares away the foul throngs, make with me a strong covenant. Was God's lesson instructive? I learned that my gods and yours inspire tales of equal amusement. They make me howl with laughter. A dull answer, but a battle-blunted axe may yet be sharpened. Do all the priests in Winchester have this same skill for drama? You risk your life, Alfred King. I have invited you here to speak on equal terms. Do the Dane laws of hospitality not apply in Wessex? You gifted my Jarl to that well from the Order of Ancients, the warrior Fulke. Fulke was an enemy of Wessex, but it seems someone has already removed her threat from my lands. If you did not hear it was me, you have now. Impressive. The Order of Ancients has surely been crippled by her loss. How much do you know of this Order? Only this and little more. This letter. Signed by one who calls himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ, warns of a plot against my life. The gallows, the quill, the Sikhs, free men eager to kill you. Two now. The Bishop Aelferth is dead. He was the Sikhs, so far as I can tell. And a humble servant of your god. That must sting. Still? His death has strengthened Christian fellowship in Winchester. I pray the deaths of his colleagues will do the same. You have faced warriors like me many times before, and many times you have lost or been cheated. Why trust me now? I have men in London and Jorvik. Men who send me reports on the rise and fall of the tides of war. Not long ago, men and women of some influence were murdered in those places. In oddly specific circumstances. When I received this letter from our poor fellow soldier, it did not take long to work out why. I don't know your motive. Nor what you hope to gain. All I ask is that you finish the work you have begun. Before these fallen souls infest England further. I should let the Order kill you. It would speed our conquest of England. You may remove the organs of state. The cancer will remain. Then promise me a reward I can sing about. A healthy king's weight in silver. <sighs> Very well. As much as you can carry. This morning my reeve, Goodwin, was not at his post. A man you trust? Goodwin was following the clues given in this letter when he disappeared. Where was he last seen? At his house, by the West Gate. You may find something there. 
Eivor, compose yourself while you are my guest. My city is not a battlefield. Not yet, Great King, but the day will come. church in day. What troubles you? God will speak to me. I know it. He will show me my true path. God's light will show him his path. Maybe I can illuminate the lectern somehow to cease his prattling. God is giving me a sign. But only I can see it. See his light. A sign? God in heaven, give him a sign. Set him on his true path, far away from me. Yes, illuminate me, oh Lord. The shackles of brotherhood. I will dedicate my life to glorifying God through another. Hmm. My account must be one of utmost grace, exhaustive, immortalizing the great acts of the prodigal Alfred. Oh, thank you, Lord. I will write a blessed manuscript praising Alfred and his great. So I have set him on a path to glorify Alfred, that pompous Saxon. I hope his writing reeks as much as he does.